My name is Daniel Cobb. I'm a doctor of oriental medicine uh, practicing in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm going to tell you about the world's very best treatment for arterial sclerosis um, or otherwise known as hardening the arteries or plaque deposits and um, creating uh, blockages in the arteries. Uh, the treatment I'm going to describe doesn't include drugs or surgery. Uh, it requires only, only commonly available um, nutritional supplements and usually generates a positive result inside of one month. Uh, this treatment has been around for 50 years, has cured tens of thousands of people, and has been championed by Linus Pauling, who was a two-time recipient of the Nobel, Nobel Prize. The supplements uh, usually cost, cost less than $90, and the major side effect is that you become more resistant to colds and flu. Now the first topic that I want to point out is that, is that uh, conventional medicine is going to tell us that heart disease is plaque deposits, and plaque deposits come from cholesterol. But I, I want to tell you something different. I want to tell you that heart disease is damage to artery walls. And, and the damage to artery walls uh, is a threat to a person's life because if there's enough damage in one little little place in the artery, and given in the in the arteries there's a significant amount of pressure. So if that pressure can can break through, so you have breakthrough bleeding, um, a burst aorta or a, you know a breakthrough bleeding in, in a major artery, uh, a person can bleed out and they can be dead in a very short period of time. So but your body knows that this is a problem, so that. Um, your, the immediate response is to try to repair the damage before it ever gets to the point of weakening enough to, so that breakthrough bleeding could become possible. Um, whenever repairs are being made to um, uh, soft tissue that has strength and, and flexibility, we are talking about collagen fibers. And when we're talking about collagen fibers, of course, there's a recipe necessary to make the repairs to create new collagen fibers. And in any recipe there's a most significant ingredient that's least likely to be available. And in this case that ingredient is vitamin C. Vitamin C has a certain number of problems. Well first, first it has a lot of uses. It's, it's a primary antioxidant in the body. It's used to chelate heavy metals. It's used uh, um, as a stress response. It's used in the immune system but it's also used to create collagen fibers. There's vitamin C in almost every food you eat, but the problem with vitamin C is that it is, it, it's an unstable molecule. So that cooking, uh, drying, canning, preserving, um, packaging, letting something sit on a shelf for three months are all ways that vitamin C gets destroyed. So that if a person primarily eats from the supermarket shelf, uh, prepared, packaged, canned, bottled foods, um, it, it's not going to, they're not going to get enough vitamin C. And so they need, what's going to happen is they're not going to be able to create enough collagen fibers, they're not going to be able to make the repairs. And then you go to the next topic, which is what happens when there's damage to the artery walls and repairs cannot be made in a timely manner? Your body has a plan B. Now we'll go back to the idea of the cholesterol. Remember the cholesterol. Remember those plaque deposits that, that conventional medicine pointing at, is pointing at. And remember, and now think that maybe those plaque deposits are the band-aid. The plaque deposits are the temporary repair mechanism to protect the artery against any breakthrough bleeding until repairs can be made in the normal, normal way by, by laying down new collagen fibers. The problem with this, you know, primary and secondary, you know, plan A and plan B, is that there's really no pain involved as the um, damage to the artery walls um, uh, starts to develop. And you can't really feel high blood pressure, you can't really feel the other symptoms of heart disease. So that the person is, doesn't get the message, get more vitamin C doesn't get the message to, okay, you need to fix your artery walls. They just keep doing what they're doing. They can keep accumulating more and more damage. And more and more damage, especially when those, the damage tends to accumulate in the same area, means thicker and thicker plaque deposits. And finally, 
the, the plaque deposit may become thick enough so that a blood clot may come along. And if this happens in a coronary artery, then you have what would be called a heart attack. Now, so far I've been talking about the, the vitamin C theory of, of heart disease, um, but it's just a theory. It's a theory until you try to put it into practice. So the real question is, if, you, if a person with significant plaque deposits, significant heart disease, were to get the proper set of nutrients, including vitamin C and others, um, the theory would indicate that because the plaque deposit was placed purposely, that plaque deposit would then disappear once the repairs were made to the collagen fibers and the damaged areas, the artery walls. And this is exactly what we see over and over again. And like I said before, in tens of thousands of cases, that's exactly what happens. Now, so far I've talked about this, this therapy as the vitamin C theory of heart disease, but it's not just vitamin C. There are other nutrients involved. Um, for instance, um, it, well, you need to know the, the dosage of vitamin C. For preventative purposes, 3 grams would be adequate. For reversal of heart disease, 6 grams or many times more. Um, Vitamin E is also necessary as being a, a primary antioxidant in the body. Um, and you should get a full spectrum vitamin E with all four tocopherols and all, all four tocotrienols. Lysine and proline, which are components of um, collagen fibers, are also very useful. Lysine in the dosage of at least 3 grams for preventative purposes and maybe as much as 6 grams to reverse heart disease. And proline at about the dosage of 1 gram. Copper, which is necessary for the formation of collagen fibers, should also be included at about 2 milligrams per day unless you're a vegetarian or unless you have uh, copper pipes in your house, in which case you're probably already getting enough copper. Uh, zinc is, is a mineral used to heal damaged tissues, and um, particularly you should particularly pay attention to taking zinc if you are a vegetarian, in which case you are prone to having high copper levels. B-complex performs a wide variety of functions, including um, uh, normalizing homocysteine levels, which, which contribute to damaging the artery walls. Coenzyme Q10 provides additional uh, muscle strength for the heart, in, especially in cases where there is high blood pressure. Uh, magnesium uh, performs many, many functions, including um, uh, facilitating energy stores and also normalizing the heart, the heart rhythm. Uh, Omega-3 fatty acids are, are very necessary for normal heart function. Significant additional improvements can be had by simultaneously making improvements in the diet. And now I want to come back to one, one topic, the, the cholesterol idea one more time. Uh, and the idea of statin drugs. Anybody who is a heart patient is probably taking a statin drug, and this is designed to lower cholesterol levels. But remember, according to what I just, the case that I just made, um, plaque deposits are placed purposefully. Because, because all cholesterol is good cholesterol, we don't really want to reduce the cholesterol. And so my, my major claim about statin drugs is that they address a problem that's not a problem. Uh, and, and because they also have very, very significant uh, side effects, um, you would probably want to seriously think about stopping taking statin drugs because they appear to be a minus without a plus. Um, the most prominent side effects might be muscle pain, weakness, peripheral neuropathy, dizziness, cognitive impairment, depression, low resistance to infection, and cancer. If you have heart disease, don't choke off your supply of cholesterol. Give your body the nutrition to heal the artery walls. If you want more information on this subject, you can go to my website, um, or where you can find several articles I've written, and also a link to my book on heart disease, or you can go to the website of the Vitamin C Foundation. Thank you.